No, God loves you. And I want to let you know that. I could tell you all kinds of things, y'all. Oh, yeah, they thought he did say and I did this and that. Only oh, with one of them teeth. I'm not that crazy, though. You see, we all have our times, we all have our times, we all have times this. But hey, listen. Ooh, I've been really drunk down, then they thought I know I was supposed to be so miserable all my life. And I always, I always thought, hey, I was gonna always be alone, but then again, you know what? After I tried to commit suicide, uh, God changed it all around and told me not to be afraid. Yeah, yeah, I've been through a lot of things, a lot of things I go through. Yeah, yeah, every time I've been in life, I've been and thinking I could ever get it right. But I did get it right and follow Jesus Christ, and that's what I do. They beat me up and every now and then they get you know I mean. It's like, I mean, hey, I can't let that guy get a hold of me. You know that anger, I don't need to rap to anybody. So I show them that, show them on the temper of the screen instead of get up to the here in the environment. Yeah, I know they try to take away guns from people with some bit of the problems, whatever case may be. But what I've been through, but they tend to forget I didn't never have to carry a gun on my life as long as I live. I mean, yeah, I went to Arizona and I know I shoot up some cans up up in the desert, up in there. Yes, I did. But I didn't really ever need to have a gun on my head. But quick on the draw, it was not my lifestyle and I get it. To me, to you, I may be like, hey, what am I gonna do with that? And well, hey, I've been doing the same thing I've been doing. Loving my Lord and Heavenly Father and everything else. So why would I even thought I know I have different my story than y'all. I know what it's like to have a abandoned home and, and all the distance feel abandoned and the thin and the rejection the thin and uh, the depression and everything got a little different than yours. Uh, say, hey, so can be ignored because I know God loves me still and yeah, he loves me and then that's for real. I know that that's why he always, always he kept the real and kept the, the thousand and kept the loyal and being loyal and I'm so thankful that everything and uh I almost up all the two story buildings. I did a lot of things and make things and whatever it is I done and did and I made decisions on my home that I should never did that I have a ten and that's forgiveness and then then I then I then again I question the stuff that the here and there walking on eggshells all of that and uh, I'm sorry and I'm doing wrong yeah I know I could do better in a time at ninety nine nine I'm only human, so I don't know what you said. You want me to be the being like a no, perfect, but I mean, hey, I mean, hey, you you could tie one up on me and make me feel worthless. It doesn't matter. I'm used to it anyways. I mean, hey, I know what it's like being the bully. I know also what it's like being bullied. I mean, so really, really recognize it well because you see, I mean, I did things that I ain't never really trying to talk low on anybody with disabilities or anything like that. I always support in the mental health whatever it is. And that thing I've seen the go through and I have. But that's okay. I'm still over here keeping rolling and telling these people, you can call me trash, you can call me a stupid idiot, stupid shit. But really, in the here, I'm just thinking to everybody to call me a guest. That means, hey, even though I mean, that's how to make people feel they're welcome at home, and I'd be the guest, so I guess I could give you guys all kinds of reviews. So that's the reason why I'm over here as a customer instead of being customer, or uh, customer represented like I'm used to. I can give you guys reviews and tell you what I think of you. And over here, not really try to give you attitudes, but mind my own business because see, I ain't even tripping over here. And like, yeah, uh, it is what it is. I could give you more than just a religion, but I'm over here always getting you the specifics, my ups and downs to get you to it all raw, or I could be cartoony, I could talk about love, I bring all kinds of kind of topics, the way that how you want it, but see, on a track, I could go up on a B and simply really call it what you guys want to call it, I've been very communicative, and know how to demolish a beat, and know how to do all of that, I know what it's like to eat, I know what it's like to 
to preach. I know what it's like to leech. I know what it's like to this. I know what it's like to bleed. I know what it's like to get zipped on and walked on. I know what it's like to get rained on and pour on. I know what it's like feeling like this. I know what it feels like not having the one and having the outside. I know what it's like to fast. I know what it's like to not eat the whole weekend. I know what it's like not to really drink water or just, just eat ice. That's the only thing I do to get water in my mouth. <laughs> I know what it's like. I know what it's like eating lemons and limes. I know what it's like to eat oranges too. I always love my citrus fruits. I know what it's like. I know what it's like not to really like cake on my birthday. Eat those sweets. I eat veggies and fruits. Understand as I came up, you can say I'm a nut, but I like my nuts too. I like the walnuts and not like the cashews. I mean, I mean, I really like, don't like really almonds that much, but I eat them too every now and then. I do like my Canadians and and all of that, and all of that, huh, yeah, I just don't like, you know, you know, hey, you could call me a coconut, whatever case may be, hey, I'm that one that you could say, yeah, you could say I've been nuts, been nuts in the back of, in a handbag, in a white pad, and I've been through this and been through that, had many shots, many times in my life that, hey, why are you all here trying to put a line in the night, in the, in the, in the science lab, something like that, want to mean be a, not a lab right there, but their gerbil, whatever it is, a science project, yeah, whatever it is, yeah, they Humiliation is real, but well, even though I wasn't really proud of my life, I was really much more humbled, humbled than anything. But it feels like yeah, I have these things about me. But if I was proud of me, sometimes I'd be and try to be mad. I got a way of holding myself and let it hang. But guess what? I've been on the here, been trying my best to be more humble, more humble every single day. But I know, hey, I need, mean, I never lost the, you know, pray to pray because I always pray, pray every night and day. Hey, even sometimes even though you know get what you want at the right at the time you know hey it's not that hey, hey it's for your protection but just know that god is the only perfection and god and god had sent his angels for our protection